I'm thinking that there's someone that's wanting to come towards you that because you've stepped away, this per you have forced this person to start healing. You have forced this person to start looking at themselves in the mirror. You've forced this person to start taking accountability. You have forced this person, like this person has had, I mean, I'm hearing there's a lot of people that, that followed your lead too. And this person may be in a bit of isolation, but this person has been forced to look at themselves and their role in the situation of whatever happened with you. So I'm thinking if there's someone that's very emotional that's wanting to come towards you, maybe to make things right, maybe to clear the air, um, to, you know, I'm hearing that, you know, this person maybe has had certain dreams, certain visions of some kind about, about y'all's relationship and they're wanting to do what is possible to, to make the energy around both of y'all better and more healed. But I'm hearing that the time has really served both of y'all well. Not that this person is necessarily meant to be a part of your new chapter, but your angels are saying that there's someone that maybe wanted to come towards you, that it may be a healing experience to hear this person out, but you don't have to keep this person in your life, even if they make amends with you, even if they want to try to make things right with, wait, right with you and give you some type of an apology, whatever it is. But your angels are saying that keep moving forward too. I'm seeing with the Nine of Cups, keep moving forward. Ooh, keep moving forward. This is something about a water sign. Maybe this is an X too. I'm kind of picking up. But yeah, you're going to say keep moving forward. These are both going the same way. Keep moving forward. But this may be, this may help you also, like, I'm also kind of seeing the world and the Wheel of Fortune. This may help you clear up, cl close a cycle with more grace. Angel number 888 as well. But yeah, I'm just saying, saying that even if this person comes to, to you with some type of clearing, I mean, that it could be very healing for both of y'all. To help you both move on. To help you both move on to that new chapter with that door closed. With less question marks. With more clarity. With better perspective of, of what really happened. What really happened between y'all. Maybe other people involved as well. So. What's going on everybody? What's going on? What is going on? What else about this person? I'm picking up water sign energy. Just heard something about Scorpio. Maybe this is someone that you dated to. This could be an, well, applied to a number of people, but I'm kind of picking up what, a download for some of y'all. I'm getting someone that you dated. Someone that got a little too comfortable too quick. Ooh, yeah. We got a death card here too. Yeah, this is this is someone that, this is something that is really, this person is, is you have forced this person to go on a healing journey that has been very difficult for them to do. I'm hearing that ego death. This person has really had to face themselves. I'm hearing that this person has gotten a lot of backlash. There's a lot of people that have been... I'm hearing that also maybe you felt like you were the only person that was standing up for yourself. And I just want you to know there's other people that see and understand what you saw and and know. And that there, you have more people on your side than you, than you realize. And maybe it took some time for some people to step up to the plate. Angel number 13, 13. But yeah, this is this is meant to help you close close out a cycle that is real that was that's been really difficult to move on from for for a lot of parties. But I'm hearing this person wants to come towards you so y'all can shut that door and let the past rest in peace. Look at how all these people are moving the same way. Moving on, moving on, moving on, letting the past rest in peace. So, what else? What else for this collective? What else for this collective? Something about addiction is coming through. Maybe this person is in recovery, doing all the steps and all the things. And we got the King of Wands, King of Flamingos. What about the King of Wands? What about the King of Wands? A lot of times with the King of Wands, I see someone that is very competitive. I see someone that is very driven. But, like, this person, like... Okay, I'm picking up that this is someone that has a lot of masculine energy. This could be male or female. Someone that has a lot of masculine energy. This also could be a fire sign. Maybe this is someone that really has a high-level career going for them. But I feel like I'm sensing this unhappiness from this person as well. But this person's very driven. And they will do... like they like they like I pick up this person does things for status. Even if they're not really happy in what they're doing, but it's like, it's about their image is what I'm picking up with the King of Wands. Wait, the King of Swords. This is the King of Swords. Okay, well, I'm just going to pretend this is the King of Wands and we'll go into the King of Swords. I, I, for some reason, I mix up the King of Wands and the King of Swords here. But okay, we'll pretend this is the King of Wands just for now. But I'm seeing someone that's very driven, someone that's very, like, they do things even if, like, even if it, if it doesn't really make them happy. And so with the, now that I see that it's the King of Swords, this is someone that's very smart as well. Someone that's very intelligent. You outsmarted this person as well. This person underestimated you too. This person really sees you as, as competition. So this person is starting to realize with the time and space that y'all have had that, and I'm picking up a lot of masculine energy again. This could be male or fem female, but 
this person is realizing that they should have been more supportive of you, that they shouldn't have undermined you, that they should have given you more respect and true support. And so they're heavily regretting that, that, you know, that you rightfully consider them a quote unquote enemy, that you don't see them as an ally because they're not really, they, have, they were not really with you. You started realizing you started breaking out that spell. So what else? What else about the situation? Tell us about the situation. We got the Ten of Cups. We got the Ten of Cups. Look at this, y'all. We got the Ten of Cups. Yeah. Um, picking up with this. If this is an ex, this is someone that you were the dream person. You were their wish fulfillment, truly. You truly were their wish fulfillment. And they fumbled a good thing when they had it. They kind of thought they could keep playing you. But I'm also hearing that with this person that it just got a little too real. Like maybe the mind games, whatever it is. Like it just got a little too real. It started getting a, a bit too dark. And so they're seeing you be, they're also, they're also watching you be able to be happy after all, after all the things that happened, after all the things that went down, you're able to still be happy. You're able to still shine. You're, you're not letting your past like dictate your future. You're not letting your past hold you back. You're not letting your past, you know, hold you back from living your best life. And so this person is watching you too. I'm picking up this lurker energy from this person too. This person's watching you big time from afar. This person is is very impressed is what i'm hearing too but you're able to be happy you don't look like the things you've gone through at all but you have a soft spot in this person's heart with all the cups here too i feel like you have this like you're this person's kryptonite like this person cannot hate you i feel like there's a lot of things that have gone down between you and this person but it's like this person cannot hate you they cannot be they cannot stay mad at you no matter it's like you're just kind of flawless in a sense this person like they cannot stay mad at you so and we got the Nine of Cups here, too. It's about crows. Look at that. We got the Nine and Ten of Cups. Yeah, you move quick. You move You you move from, th through whatever that happened between you and this person. And I feel like there's so many things. And Spirit just kind of showed me, like, this, like, tower, like, this volcano. Like, so many. It's, like, not just this person. There's so many things that, like, it's, like, a bunch of things happen all at once. And you moved quick. Like, so freaking quick. Nine, ten. You moved quick. You really, you have made, you're really like focused on your dreams and, and you know, you know, you you start knowing your worth really quick too. And so you're moving towards your goals and your dreams and your 10 of cups, like so quick. It's not even funny. It's not even funny. So your angels are saying that this person's impressed. This person didn't make the cuts, but they may want to come in to make amends of some kind to offer some healing to give you both some healing, some closure. And thank you for the gifts, you guys. I appreciate the gifts and the follows and everything. Make sure you're following me here and on Instagram. Everything is just a click away. So, let's see. What else about this person? We got the Ten of Swords that came out. And the Empress. I mean, these are so parallel. We got the Ten of Swords, uh, ten, ten of Flamingos, and the, and the Empress. Yeah. The script got flipped on this person. This person did you nasty. Angel number 10, 10. Keep an eye out for that. Maybe that's been speaking, speaking to y'all lately. But this person, like, you know your freaking worth. You know your worth. You you really, like, this person, like, didn't break you. This person made you. You did not let this, you you don't, you, you're you choosing, you're making the choice to heal and transmute this pain into your nine and ten of cups, to your wish fulfillment, to your dream life, to like, I'm hearing that you look good too. I'm hearing that you look good too. I'm hearing that your energy just speaks for itself. I'm hearing that you've, you've, you've really evolved as a person. I'm hearing the word discipline from spirit as well. Like you, you really are like, you're really refining yourself and your energy just, just speaks for itself. There's a lot of things like there's a lot of things that maybe you were lacking before. Maybe maybe that be discipline, maybe that be self-control, whatever it is. You've really been refining that and sharpening that in yourself. And it's your energy just speaks for itself. I'm also hearing the power of your silence. You know when when to sit back and stay observant of certain things and just let some things play out. You have this element of patience too that you've really that you've that you've really embodied more and, and been more comfortable with. And you know that good things are coming. You you know that you you have nothing but good stuff on the way. You know that you deserve it too. So just know that if you don't, but know that yeah, this person I'm also picking up a lot of guilt from this person too. Thank you. I'm picking up a lot of guilt from this person as well. This person, this person, you know, this maybe this this king of king of swords person. This person may have been. I'm picking also hearing the word hedonist. This may be someone that that um. I'm hearing what they don't know doesn't hurt them. Like they, this person did things to you that they did. They felt no guilt for guilt or remorse for at the time in a sense because you did not know. And so this this is someone that this is someone that 
would do things. And if you didn't know, they felt they did not feel bad at all for what you did not know about. But you started breaking out of spells. You started connecting dots. And this person knows that you know. This person knows that you know that you, what they what they did. And then it's like and it's like this thing. They know. I know what you know what you, I know. It's like that whole thing. So this person is the guilt is really eating this person alive. So I feel like this person is very emotional because their game is up. The the jig is up with them. They got exposed big time. And it's not just you that's seeing through this person. There's so many things that are coming to light. So hedonist, hedonist, hedonist. The thing about hedonists is that a hedonists is that they don't feel bad if they're doing you dirty, nasty, like ten of swords type stuff. Beyond, they don't feel bad about it. If you don't, if you're not aware, if you're not aware of what they're doing to you, they don't give a shit about it. So now you know, and now the guilt has been creeping in. But you know what? You're not letting it hold you back. You're not letting these times hold you back. I feel like in the past too, you've had people, you've had gone through things that have really knocked you down really heavy but you have lived and you learned and you know how to pick yourself up very quickly and your spiritual toolbox is next level your energy just speaks for itself your energy just speaks for itself so let's get a couple more cards thank you for the follows y'all thank you for the follows and we've got the seven of wands yeah you've done a lot of freaking work your spiritual toolbox i'm hearing like also this person knows that they would have to approach you completely differently because you operate completely differently i'm also seeing with seven that like you're in this new cycle you're not playing about yourself you're not playing about your time your energy nothing you're very protective of, of all the work that you have done you're very protective of yourself for good reason so this person knows like it's like a dog with their tail between their legs like they know that they would have to approach you completely differently because the game has completely changed with you so let's see what else Last call, you guys. If anyone wants a reading, let me know. We got the Eight of Swords. Yeah, this person wanted this person wanted to keep you stuck. This person, this person, unfortunately, in the past at least, really wanted to keep you stuck in this and kind of a mental prison and some type of f brain fog. But the thing is, they're kind of I'm picking up this this King of Swords figure. Like it's like they're torn about you. It's like they're torn about you because they see this you in the, your emperor empress mode whatever they see they see just the beginning like i feel like you're already like it's just like you continue to evolve you continue to impress but like they like this person this this version of you that was easily controlled and manipulated that was trapped that didn't you didn't know yourself you didn't know your worth you didn't you were not respecting it like so many things that change in a snap that's changing in a snap and like this person's torn because they like this person that they could they could puppeteer that they could torment that they could they could like you know they could, they they could really manipulate you but also they really like this empress version of you a lot more they like this version of you a lot more they like this confident version of you they like this person this, this version like this person of you they like this version of you that that really owns yourself like this very abundant beautiful energy that you're carrying now so they're kind of torn because they kind of miss they have a thing with control big time they have a big thing the big thing with control they miss having someone that they could they could just easily easily manipulate but they also like they're like they want in on this this new version of you but they show their true colors they show their true colors so let me get a couple more closing cards what else about this thank you for the gifts you guys thank you for the gifts Ooh, they period the devil just came out. The devil is all about control. What I just talk about. What I just talk about. This is all about control. This is all about manipulation. This is about... This person was addicted to you too. This person was more addicted to you and your energy than they realized. And I'm hearing that if they got to know this empress version of you, oof, it would be an entire different level of new devils, new devils. So you're saying proceed with caution. If this person comes forward with some type of um, communication... You need to be careful. You need to keep your distance. You need to kind of keep moving forward. It could be very, it can be very healing and beneficial. But your angel is saying that you're the freaking empress. This person, I mean, your energy is very intoxicating to this person, and this person still has a thing with control. People that have control issues, those are that. I don't know what that's like because I've never had that. I don't think because I've had my my entire life personally has been so much outside of my control that I just got used to that. So personally, I don't think I have a thing with control, so I can't really speak on how it is, but I think it's a completely different process for, like, people that are control freaks to start breaking out of that and feeling this trust with the unknown. So this person was very addicted to your energy, and if they got to, if they got to be in with this new version of you, you'd have to, I mean, it would be, I don't know if it would really be worth the energy, time, and focus, and all that to try to re rehash this, but yeah, this person, ooh, my gosh. 
Mm, so let's get one more card. <laughs> let's get one more card on this. Let's see. Can I get one more card? The Hierophants. Ooh, you outsmarted this person too. You're in, I feel like this person helped, helped shove you into your spiritual purpose as well, into your higher calling, and into realizing what's important. So don't ever forget this about yourself. It's like the High Priestess. You're very intelligent. You know what you know. You know what's up. Don't forget. It's okay to forgive and let go. You should do that for yourself. But don't forget certain things. Good morning. So that was a collective reading. How'd y'all like that? How'd that resonate for you guys? How'd you enjoy that? How'd y'all like that? This is the Wonderland Tarot deck too, by the way. The Wonderland Tarot.